John Cena is one of the most popular WWE superstars of all time. He came into the company in 2002 and built a reputation on his hard rap gimmick. He then got the chance to be the face of the company and took off from there. He now works as a part-timer because Hollywood has struck the never give up attitude superstar. But he was planning on returning, but since he's working as the peacekeeper in an upcoming project, he will now be sidelined. Well, that is exactly what this video is about. We are going to act like John Cena is a superhuman and he can teleport and he'll be there for WrestleMania 37. We are going to book John Cena from Elimination Chamber to WrestleMania 37. First, let's be realistic and only allow John Cena to appear two times per pay-per-view because he is busy doing the movie so he can only show one time on Raw and SmackDown. But instead of that, Let's get straight into it. My name is I King Skies, and this is how to book, if you were going to, if he was going to be here, how to book John Cena at WrestleMania 37, or how to book his return at WrestleMania 37. So we are going to start by this week's Monday Night Raw. Edge comes out to Drew, and McIntyre is talking to Edge and just how that segment goes, just everything like that. But instead of Sheamus coming in, no other than John Cena music hits and the man is back for whatever reason and he just doesn't seem the same though he comes out and he doesn't really seem to be seem to be happy to be back almost like someone forced him to come here john is also is still also wearing the never give up shirt in bright colors but something just seems off he comes to the ring and not paying attention to edge and tells drew mcintyre that he might be good but he is no face of wwe you beat goldberg you did this and that but you aren't john cena it's not really a hill promo but it's still a feels a face promo you know it almost seems like john just wants drew to prove him that he can be the face of the company without he being here so he can have somebody to pass the torch to drew smiles and cuts a promo saying hollywood is calling your name my friend and not the wwe championship your time in the ring is done and basically something like that john cena also wants to beat rick flair record of having the reign of 16 wwe championship one after this edge ties in but soon makes his choice of fighting roman at wrestlemania and he doesn't really say anything much he just says the same stuff that he said on live tv i would then make some false rumors of drew mcintyre being unhappy with wwe and vince because of the boring storylines and no creative control he has you will see why later on the next monday night raw shane and adam pairs name the selection of for the elimination chamber match and it would be aj styles randy orton sheamus john cena and damian priest and yes, I did change it up because Jeff Hardy has lost way too many matches to be even considered in the Elimination Chamber match for the WWE Championship, and The Miz literally holds a future championship opportunity in his hand, so why would he need this one? It just doesn't make any sense. John Cena's spot is up for grabs though, because John Cena hasn't been in action for a long time. Adam Pearce has officially made that a rule. He has. He has to earn his spot and before this match takes place john cena tells adam pears why does he need to earn his spot he's flipping john cena and adam says well you need to earn your spot just like everybody else on the roster because you haven't been here in a long time and you haven't even won matches we don't know how good you are right now and john cena is left in the backstage area kind of pissed off not to say the least john cena versus keith lee is happening for the main event tonight and after three attitude adjustments yes three john cena pins keith lee leaf also dominates most of this match but super cena kicks in to super gear and wins the match this will be the last time john cena returns the raw for that month and elimination chamber is upon us this match right here will have aj styles enter in first priest will enter in second randy orton will enter in three cena will enter at four morrison at five and drew lastly at number six and for some odd reason john cena as soon as he comes charges in at no other than randy orton and it makes his missions to eliminate him for some odd reason a aa and a styles clash does exactly that randy orton is the first out and soon as randy orton gets out of the ring no other than the fiend appears the fiend attacks randy orton 
and is left behind a trail. Randy Orton is bleeding. Everything is happening. The Fiend now has a card up against Randy Orton, but that is for another storyline. Priest catches on fire and eliminates AJ Styles. Yes, AJ Styles is eliminated by the rookie Damian Priest. Priest is also given the flexibility to do whatever spot he wants or whatever thing he wants because that is how you make superstars in the Elimination Chamber match. And Priest also was also about to eliminate John Cena, but then he kicks out and eliminates Morrison. Then The Miz comes out of under the ring. Yes, The Miz comes up under the ring, out of nowhere from under the ring, and hands Morrison the money in the bank briefcase. Morrison hits Priest and Sheamus gets off and picks off the the dead the dead remains of priest and eliminates priest this will continue the feud between him and the Miz and bad baby because i know wwe wants to do that irl and have wants to have that match at wrestlemania so there you go if you're trying to be realistic and stuff now in the last stages of the match john cena kicks into super gear and eliminates Je uh, sheamus and then as he turns around, as soon as he turns around, a claymore to the face of Drew McIntyre. I mean, to the face of John Cena, sorry. And Drew McIntyre is still your WWE champion. John Cena gets up after a while using the ropes and stares at Drew. Drew then looks at John and puts his hand out for a handshake. John Cena looks at Drew. He stands up, walks towards him, dusts himself off. Then the lights turn off again. It is no other than Alexa Bliss sitting on the top rope, laughing at Drew McIntyre. Drew almost feels it behind him. <laughs> he he has, he's holding the belt in his hand. He feels the tense ten, intensity behind him. He noticed the crowd, or not the crowd, when he noticed the WWE Universe of the Thunderdome is making a different noise than usual. WWE will add that in, obviously. He looks behind him slowly, and boom, a chair shot from no other than John Cena. John Cena stares at Drew's lifeless body, and Alexa hops off the ropes, slowly walks behind him as she grabs Cena's hand, and the lights cut out. John Cena has disappeared with Alexa Bliss to end Elimination Chamber. Drew is looking for answers on Raw. Everybody is talking about this. John Cena, for the first time in how many years, probably like 13, 14, has officially turned heel. Drew is looking for answers on Raw and John Cena comes out. But to everyone's surprise, John Cena is in a suit with a rich type style as he walks to the ring with a little grin on his face. He has glasses on, he has a person now, he has a own personal microphone. This dude is Hollywood John Cena. John Cena looks at Drew Mac Drew and basically says, you aren't the face of the company, I am. I carried this company on my back for years i should be remembered most of my career i got booed and not appreciated of just how great i was but you take a couple months and bodybuild yourself to a perfect body basically do what i did at the beginning of my career and come back as the face of the company he says this is bullshit he also says the only way to en ingrain his name in the wwe is to be Ric Flair's record because nobody can say how overrated he is. Nobody can say how bad he is because if his name is up there, he is literally the best WWE champion of all time. Drew also asks Alexa, why is she helping him? And Alexa says, I only listen to him. Saying that The Fiend might have just made a deal with John Cena. John Cena has a suitcase in his hand opens it up and tells drew to sign it sign it drew then laughs at john cena and says he's already had his opportunity and no john cena shakes his head and turn and the lights turn off again this time drew is ready 
He's looking around. He gets some early hits on the Fiend, but the Fiend overpowers and chokes Drew. As John Cena is watching with a smile on his face, John Cena gets in some hits in too. And the Fiend is helping John Cena. Basically, because he has made a deal with him. John Cena is so desperate to stay on top to win the championship again. It would grain his name into the WWE Hall of Fame. Well, he is. Well, he wants to be the best WWE superstar of all time. And that is where greed comes from. He has, John Cena has everything. And he wants more than everything. And that is why he made a deal basically with the devil to become the greatest WWE superstar of all time. Alexa grabs the Fiend hand and disappears with him. John Cena then dusts off his suit, grabs the glasses out of his pocket, puts it on his eyes, uses Drew hand to sign the contract, and it is official. Drew versus John Cena is officially a WrestleMania 37 match. John Cena then introduces his two bodyguards on the next Monday Night Raw that will be the Viking Raiders because John Cena offered them money, movie spots, and future tag team title opportunities. And he says, well, you can do that when you're John Cena, basically. And John Cena basically said, hey, I'm gonna walk out the company if these two don't get no tag team titles in the future. And they gave him tag team titles because when a person does that like John Cena, you give him what he wants. Basically, they also wear suits and have glasses just like John. The Drew cut some terrific promos and it all leads up to the Fiend and at the fast lane, the Fiend tries to get in Drew's head for John Cena, obviously to weaken him for WrestleMania, but this doesn't work. And at fast lane, the Fiend is actually having a good match. He's, he's overpowering Drew a lot. Drew is fighting back, fighting back more than anybody has fought back before against the Fiend, but Randy Orton, out of completely nowhere, RKO to the Fiend and Drew McIntyre survives the Fiend. Now, and John Cena watches this from afar. He comes out after the match. AA is Drew McIntyre just to blow it up some more. And then on a go home show to WrestleMania, they were fighting, doing promos, everything, all of that. John Cena says something when he signed the contract. It said if Drew loses, his career will end. John Cena doesn't want Drew to be the face of the company so bad that he wants to take his job away from him forever. Cena obviously waited until the go home show on purpose so Drew couldn't do anything about it. Drew had no idea that this was a clause in a contract. And it goes on. John Cena versus Drew McIntyre, record versus career. Record versus career will be the headline of this match. John Cena does an intro with a huge limbo and a red carpet rolled out as he walks down in a suit in which he will take off because, it, it, but it's still cool. He has glasses on and he has a cool whole army of bodyguards around him. This is peak of Hollywood John Cena, ladies and gentlemen. The crowd is also back seeing what he's doing to Drew these last couple of weeks have really been a toll so they're booing him out of the building they are booing John Cena out of the building and it is finally time they have a five star match everything is up there at one point John Cena grabs one of the camera one of his cameramen and he tells them to record while I win the match and he gets reversed John Cena spares Drew through the barricade Drew also suplexes him through the announce table finally Drew hits the Claymore one two John Cena kicks out. John Cena hits a double AA. One, two. Drew kicks out. Drew gets the upper hand late throw because of a suplex off the top rope. He's calling for the Claymore and the lights go off. The Fiend is here. And after his victory over Randy Orton earlier tonight at WrestleMania, he can shift his folks on Drew. And he does. He beats up Drew, but Drew fights back. And while Drew is on the floor, he then goes out and grabs Alexa by the neck and threatens The Fiend <laughs> to get out of his match. The Fiend looks on and grabs Alexa and Drew immediately runs into the ring to finish the match. But John Cena picks him up for the AA. Drew gets back into the ring almost limping. You can see the damage. John Cena picks him up. Looks like he's about to go for AA, but Drew flips. He stands on his feet. Hot gets off the ropes, hits a claymore out of nowhere. Drew pins John Cena as the Fiend is looking on 
And there it is. One, two, three. Drew retains the championship at WrestleMania. And the pop that he's been waiting to get is finally there. John Cena looks on depressed, sad, because he couldn't do it at WrestleMania. John Cena doesn't even know where to go. I mean, the one person that was helping him out couldn't even do it. And the Viking Raiders got beat at WrestleMania by the Tag Team Champions. They were nowhere to find them. And The Fiend just looked on as he won the championship. Before Drew McIntyre, after Drew McIntyre walks out, the WrestleMania show ends with John Cena with an angry look at The Fiend. And The Fiend disappears as the lights go off. And it's just John Cena in the middle of the ring. Drew McIntyre is still celebrating on the ramp. And there it is. How to book John Cena. If you want to see where this goes, I still have some plans for this. If you want to see where this goes, like and subscribe. <laughs> and put down the comment down below that you want to see. You want to see more of this. You want to see part two. My name is Ikings, guys. Like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Niggas is paid. I am the hero, man. I got them by chain. Show some on the ass like I'm the new king. Passing these missions like life is all easy. Just screaming to the mic like my name is.